Welcome to the Tax Lenity Training Series. This training series will focus on online auctions, and it's brought to you by TaxLeanInvestorSecrets.com. These training series move along very quickly, so if you need to, pause the video, or you can always come back and watch it again. The first thing you need to do to participate in an online auction is go to the website BidForAssets.com. Uh, again, that's B-I-D, the number four, and then Assets. Com. Now, once you uh, get to the website, which is this is a picture of uh, what the website looks like, you're going to notice here on the left-hand side there is a link for county tax sales. We're going to click on that. And it's going to bring us to this page. Now, you'll notice here on the right-hand side there is a calendar. Uh, next to this calendar, you'll see below there are counties, uh, county names that are listed, and then there are dates uh, next to some of those. A little bit further down the page, we can see more, and we're actually interested in clicking, in this case, on Monterey County. After clicking on Monterey County, we can see that uh, from here we can get information about auction dates. We can also see that at some point this auction was postponed uh, until a later date. Uh, we can see information about registering for, uh, uh, for bidding. However, there's more valuable information further down the page. What we're really after here is for a, a tax sell list of the uh, the properties that are scheduled for auction. So as we get down to the bottom of the page, we can see that right here there are uh, there are two different uh, types of lists. There's a list that's available in the form of an Excel file, and there's a, a list that's available in the form of a PDF file. However, right below that, you can see that there are uh, some drop-down boxes here with links. Now, for this example, we'll click on this second one down. Once we click on that, we can now see that there are uh, these APN numbers, which are uh, basically property identification numbers. They're like parcel numbers. Uh, it's the identification number that the auction or the county is using at the time. Now, next to those, we see that there are pictures of these properties. Now, uh, from the picture here, we're interested in this one right here. Uh, it looks like it's uh, some type of a piece of land with a structure on it. Now we can immediately see that this is some type of a commercial piece of property. We can see that uh, that it's, it looks like it's got a fence around it. We can see the structure here in the middle and we can see that it has a beginning bid of $18,000. However, again, if we scroll a little further down the page, we can find out even more information about this property. Now first, we can see that we can set this system up to email us when the bidding begins for this auction. So we can actually be notified when, the, uh, when this auction begins. And we can also see information about a deposit. And right down here towards the bottom, uh, we begin seeing more information. Uh, again, we need to scroll down uh, to the bottom of this page in order to get to all of the county's financial information about this property. Now, as we get here, we can see where the location of the property is. We can see what the assessed value of the property is, which is $123,000. And we can see that it's a commercial piece of property. Again, this is a property that has a starting bid of about $16,000. Now, we can also see right here that there's a link for the parcel image. Let's see if we can get a little bit better view of what this property looks like. From here, we can see that this property is, uh, is obviously uh, some type of a commercial piece. It has a couple of large garage doors here in the front, and it looks like uh, it, it's on some type of a corner, like it's a corner lot here, and that it's off of some type of a main street because we can see more commercial property back here behind it. Uh, for $16,000, however, uh, there is no doubt that that property uh, exceeds that value by quite a bit. I mean, even the, even the county's assessed value is at $123,000. So, Keep in mind that you're not really concerned about what this property looks like on the outside because uh, really what you're looking to do is to pick up this property for as little as 10 or 20 percent of what the fair market value is. In other words, uh, the best way to look at this property is, uh, or this investment is to say, is this raw land worth more uh, you know, just the way it sits than it is with the structure on it? In other words, could I sell this piece of property for more than $16,000? And with it being a, what looks like a pretty large piece of commercial property, there's no doubt that you could sell this for more than 16000 Now, we're going to click back to look at another property here. Uh, we're going to click on the very first drop-down screen uh, on the very first list. Now, once we click on that, we can see what looks like it might be a single-family home 
uh, right here. So we're going to click on that property to see if we can learn more about it. From here we can see that it's obviously a single family home and that it has a starting bid of $160,000. Now that seems like it's pretty steep for a tax deed. So we're already here. Let's see if we can find out information about this property or why the, uh, the taxes might be so high. Further down the page, we can see here that the assessed value and the amount still seem too high. In other words, the assessed value on this property is only $109,000 according to the county. Again, it's a $160,000 bid. Typically, the uh, the starting bid will be the total amount of all the delinquent taxes uh, that, that, uh, that, that were uh, added up before this property was foreclosed on. Uh, so again, the uh, the amount still seems too high, but we're already here, and it's worth doing some additional research. Now, uh, one valuable thing that we get here is we can see what the physical information for this uh, for this the physical address for this property is. We want to take that property address, and we're going to copy that. Now, here's a little bit closer view of the property from that same link for the uh, for the image of the parcel. And again, we can see that this is actually a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice home. As far as tax deeds go, this is actually an excellent home, and there's somebody living in it. Now, also, just so you know, that uh, picture is obviously old. It doesn't have to be taken right before the sale. It could be something that the county assessor took pictures of uh, even a year or two years ago. So it doesn't have to be uh, a completely current picture. In other words, you know, there might be things different. There may not be anybody there now. Uh, that picture is not an accurate representation of what the property looks like right at this moment. Now, uh, from here again, we're right back here to this uh, to this page. Uh, and again, the easiest way to use this page is to just go back and, and make sure you have that uh, that property address copied so that you can use it as you go here to the next step. Now, the next step is to go to an appraisal site. Uh, there are a number of them out there. For this example, we're going to use Yahoo. So go to yahoo.com and uh, click on the real estate tab on the left hand side. Now next you're going to want to click right here in the middle uh, under home values. Now once you get to this section you can take this uh, this physical address and enter it into uh, this, uh, this these these areas right here and then hit the search button. Now we can see here that, uh, that that home actually has an approximate value range of about $712,000 to $790,845. So the, uh, the, the actual property value for this piece of property is, uh, is much higher than what the, uh, what the asking starting bid is. So uh, most people might actually look at that property and turn away because it seems like it's an awful, uh, like it's an awful lot of money for a tax deed. However, as we start to dig into it, we can see that, uh, that it's actually a pretty valuable piece of property. It's always a good idea to check on some of the other websites as well to see uh, how they have it appraised and uh, and what they have listed for as far as information. A lot of these properties have uh, extensive information about every single piece of property. So $160,000 starting bid may seem like uh, quite a bit and it may seem that way because it's higher than most of the other tax deed homes that you're going to see. However, this particular property has the potential to make the buyer four hundred to $600,000 in profit uh, depending on uh, how much they buy it for and uh, and what the actual value is uh, based on that area. However, uh, it's not something that we worry a lot about because the idea is to pick up properties for uh, for anywhere from 10 to 30 uh, percent of the fair market value, maybe 40 percent if you know a lot about the property. But again, we're talking about purchasing property for such a low amount that a lot of times it doesn't really matter. Properties like this sell at tax deed sales all of the time. Uh, isn't it about time that you started with something that can generate more income for your family?